Assalamu alaikum everybody. Um, I have two questions I feel like are very important. So uh, my first question is how do you differentiate between alternative facts and the right facts? I know a lot of people say fact check, research, um, what are some sources and what is the fine line between censorship and um, freedom of speech? So I'll start. If you see a headline and it has exclamation point in the headline, alternative facts, probably fake news. You know what I'm talking about when you see the thing and it's literally like something, something happened, exclamation points, that didn't, it didn't happen. Also, it's very clear what some of the mainstream, I'm not saying mainstream media is perfect, but I still feel there's some level of integrity to what that the journalists are writing. So they're not always 100% right, but I think that there's some credit. So for example, if it's the New York Times, the Washington Post, the Huffington Post, if it's the New York Daily News, if it's the, uh, the LA Times, the Miami, whatever, you know what I'm talking about, the Chicago Tribune, your local, hyper-local, credible newspapers that have been around for generations, they're, they're, they must be onto something. There must be some sort of story there. But if it's some news outlet you never heard of, right, you never saw, it's like, you know, yeah, great news place.com, like you probably want to be a little bit more careful about posting that type of information. Also, if that news is not being corroborated by any other outlet, so for example, you read something on a website that says, um, I don't know, April Giraffe had a baby, by the way, she had a baby today. April the Giraffe had a baby. Um, but if the news was last week and it said April, had a, April the Giraffe had her baby, but nobody else was reporting that, it probably, April the Giraffe didn't have her baby. So the idea is that there be at least two to three media, media outlets that are corroborating the, whatever it is that you're putting out there. That's the first thing. And then also, uh, do not, this is what something else the Muslims do. We don't like this, this Islamophobe, right? that's propagating news about the Muslim community that is false, but guess what we do? We post their article just to make a point. Don't promote hate by trying to make a point. So, Daily Caller, which by the way people don't know is an actual right wing, and Muslims always posting stuff on the Daily Caller. Daily Caller, Breitbart, these people are not our friends, and you are not to help give them clicks and promote their work. If you must, Post something because you can't make your point without posting it. Go to do not link .com. Are you listening? This is a resource. Do not link .com. Post the link of the article in do not link .com and it's going to generate a new link. And what happens is when you post the new link, it stops the promotion of that website. So that, that website is not going to get traffic. It's like an obstruction type of website. So do not link.com if you must post a right wing article in order to prove your point. So again, we have a responsibility in particular in within our own community not to be promoting false stories, not only about Muslims, but about other people or about other communities that we corroborate. And if you don't see it in any other major news outlet, do not post about it because I'm pretty sure it's not true. So be very careful, cautious, and responsible in the way that you share news. Thank you. Thank you.